Hey everybody, today we're making grilled chicken burrito bowls. Now these are much healthier than a traditional burrito, right? We're gonna leave that tortilla out of it and it makes a nice salad. We're gonna be adding some uh, black beans, some cilantro lime rice and our grilled chicken and a few other ingredients I'll tell you about in a little bit. Anyway, I hope you'll try it. It's delicious, nutritious, and it'll make you ambitious and I can't wait to show it to you. So let's go over our ingredients and get started. We're gonna need some cilantro lime rice right here and I've made that ahead of time and that's what you can do as well. I'm gonna leave a link right over here for you to check that out. All right, we'll also need a can of black beans and we're gonna spice those up with some ground cumin, some chili powder and some garlic powder. Now we'll need some lettuce to go in our burrito bowl and I'm using red leaf lettuce here. You can use any kind you like. And I'm using some Greek yogurt and that is a substitute garnish for sour cream, and you can use either one. We'll need an avocado. I've got some uh, very nicely thinly sliced red cabbage. I have some Monterey Jack cheese over here. For our grilled chicken, we're gonna be using some boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and I'm gonna season that up with some chili powder, some smoked paprika for some nice little smoky flavor, garlic powder, a little bit of salt, and olive oil. Now the last thing we need for our burrito bowls is some little bit of pico de gallo. You gotta have that. All right, so we're gonna need some tomato, jalapeno. I've got a little bit of fresh lime, a couple of green onions, and some fresh cilantro. So we're gonna start off by making our pico de gallo so it has a chance for the flavors to develop and mingle you know, while we're waiting and getting everything else ready. So we'll start with our tomatoes. We're just gonna cut them in half take off that little stem and we're going to just cut this into nice little chunks. Something like this. Next we're going to do a little green onion. So I'm just going to cut off the ends and just finely slice this right up. And you want to go into the green for a bit. Now I've been using, almost all of my vegetables here today are organic, just, I know some of you ask me to tell you that whenever I'm using them. All right, so once we get that sliced, then I'll just, I like to run my knife through it again. And we'll add that to our tomatoes. Now we'll do our jalapeno. So be really careful when you cut these guys because they've got some uh, really hot uh, oils in there. So just cut your jalapeno in half. I like to cut it in quarters. And I like to remove the seeds. I know that some of you like, like it hot, so you might want to leave that in. But I'm going to show you how to take them out. I'm going to just scrape them out. And then what I like to do to get a really fine mince is to cut this one strip into little matchsticks like this. And then when you turn it the other direction, you get this very fine dice. All right, now that we got all the jalapeno chopped up, I'm gonna place it in my bowl here with the onions and the tomato. And now we can move into our cilantro. Gotta have a little cilantro in there, so I got a little handful here. You can put as much of this as you like. And I'm just gonna give this a nice little chop. I'm gonna remove, here's a big stem here. I wanna get that stem out of there and just use pretty much just the leaves. All right, so we'll place our cilantro in the bowl. And I'm gonna give that a little, just a little stir right now just to combine everything. All right, so now we need to add a little bit of salt. I'm gonna add some salt to that. And of course, our lime juice. So I'm gonna cut my lime in half. And I'm probably gonna use at least half of this. So I'm just gonna use my little, my little juicer here. And we're gonna put that juice right in there. Bring, it gives it such bright flavor. Now we're gonna place the pico de gallo in the refrigerator to keep, get it nice and chilled. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna start with the beans. This is real simple. I'm gonna keep the juice in the beans. I'm gonna pour these just in a pan. Add my spices, my chili powder, um, garlic powder, and the cumin. Give this a nice stir and just heat it up until it's hot. And then we're gonna to go to the barbecue and barbecue our chicken. All right. Now it's time to season up our chicken so we can get it on the grill. I'm just gonna take a little bit of olive oil, drizzle it on top, and then just kind of work that in. 
That way all our spices will stick. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put a nice coating. I love garlic, so I'm gonna put a nice amount of garlic powder on there. And a little bit of chili powder. Give it a nice little coating. And the smoked paprika. I love the smoky flavor this puts out. I'm gonna do some salt. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip these over and do the other side, because I want that flavor on both sides. And we'll do the same thing, and then we'll take it out to the grill. Now we're ready to grill. So I've got my grill on medium-high heat, and I'm gonna go ahead and place this on here. Now, being that these are boneless skinless, they're pretty thin, and they should cook up pretty quick. Just a few minutes on each side. Make sure you bring out another plate to put your cooked chicken on so you don't cross-contaminate. So we'll let that go for a few minutes. Let's uh, go ahead and check our chicken. I think it's ready to be turned over. All right, look at that. So we're gonna go ahead and cook this on the second side. And then we're gonna take it in and we'll show you the next step. Our next step is to cut up our chicken. So I'm gonna place it over here on my cutting board. Basically, you just wanna chop this up into bite-sized chunks. That's what I like to do. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and slice up the avocado. So I'm just cut it in half, make a few long slices, cut it the other direction for cubes. And then when I'm ready to put it on, I'm just gonna invert it. I'll show you. So, the first thing we're gonna start with, everything's hot. I've got my rice, my beans, my meat, everything's ready to go. So here we go. Here's my bowl. I'm gonna start with some rice. Nice cilantro lime rice. All right, and then I'm gonna go with some beans. And I'll place some of those right on top. You'll feel like you're at that restaurant Chipotle. All right, spread that on. Now I'm gonna do with the chicken. Put some of that on there. Unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to see it once I put the lettuce and everything on top, but we know it's there. I'm gonna put some lettuce on top with a little bit of the cabbage, gives it some nice color. This is gonna be quite colorful, let me tell you. And I'm gonna do a little bit of the Greek yogurt slash sour cream, depending on what you wanna use. I'll put a few little dollops here and there. Right, and I think now we'll do our avocado. So I'm just gonna invert that and the pieces pretty much just fall right out. And what we have left is our pico de gallo. We gotta have that. Spread that on top. Oh my goodness. This is my kind of salad, let me tell you. And then I'll finish it off with a little bit of cheese. Is that like not fabulous? That is just gorgeous. And I can't wait to take a bite. Or several. I can't wait to eat it. Oh my gosh. Mm. Gosh. Guys, I hope you'll try this. It's delicious. You're gonna love it. It's healthy. It's great for you. So I hope you'll try it. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share the recipe with whoever you think might enjoy a nice healthy dish. And you could make this for Cinco de Mayo. It'd be great for that. Thanks everybody. We'll see you next time. Hey everybody. Today we're making grilled chicken burrito bowls. Now these are much healthier, healthier? That's not a word.